This video will show you how to wire the Impro MDR or MDK multidiscipline reader to Impro's ITRT2 distributed controller. Before we begin the wiring, there are some matters that must be borne in mind. You'll need screened 10 core data cable and conductors no thinner than 22 AWG. The reader cable length may not exceed 150 meters. Note that the reader to card range can be compromised if the reader cables are long, if there is strong electromagnetic interference at the installation site, if there is noise on the reader's input supply line, if readers are mounted closer than half a meter from each other, if readers are mounted back to back on opposite sides of the same wall. The effects of electromagnetic interference can be reduced by connecting the data cable screen to the SHD terminal only on the RTRT2 end of the cable. Now we can get to the wiring process. Cut a length of data cable long enough to follow the route from the reader to the RTRT2, allowing an extra 30 centimeters to spare. Strip back the outer sheath on both ends by 6 cm. We'll not be using the grey and the purple wires, so these can be cut short or folded out of the way. Strip all the remaining wires to expose 6 mm of the copper, twisting the strands ready for the terminals. Wire up the reader terminals as per the coloured labels alongside the terminals. It is recommended that you make use of ferrules when wiring the RTRT2 reader ports. Make sure the wire strands are neatly twisted before sliding them all the way into the ferrule. Using the crimping tool, squeeze the handles all the way to firmly crimp the wire in the ferrule. Do this for all eight wires that will be needed. Both reader port terminals on the RTRT2 have colored labels for you to follow Note that the grey labelled terminal next to the red one is not used. Remove the lid of the controller and you'll see three sets of dip switches. The middle set of switches are labelled Reader 1 mode. Set the set of switches to All Off. Of course the same applies to Reader 2 port if you're installing both entry and exit readers. The last thing we need to do after the RTRT2 has powered up is to check that the status LED is shining continuously. If the status LED is shining, it means the RTRT2 is communicating with the network and the readers may now be installed within the access control software. If the status LED is flashing, the network connection will need to be made or restored before readers can be installed with the software. This will be the subject of another video. And that concludes this video. If you found it helpful, please click the like icon.